Hello, welcome to this section of the Circuit Analysis Tutor. Here we're going to work a problem involving an inductance and just give you some experience with dealing with these power calculations. Okay, so we have a simple circuit, um, mostly to illustrate the point. So here is a current source that is delivering current straight into an inductor coil. All right, and so there is a two millihenry inductance here and the voltage is measured across the inductor like that because the current is going this way, so we assume there's voltage drop. So this is given to you in the problem. Also given to you is the value of this, this current. So the current is zero for T less than zero, uh, and the current is the following expression, five E to the minus 200 T minus 5 E to the minus 800 T. And this is, of course, in amps, and this is for T greater than zero. So it's kind of ugly, but you know, all these problems end up having to be like this. So uh, to, to illustrate the point, so 5 E to the minus 200 T minus 5 E to the minus 800 T. So it's a crazy looking amount of current. Obviously, it's not a constant current source, it's a current that is changing. And the question is, we want to find a relation that uh, represents or shows the power uh, flow to this inductor, right? So how do we do that? Now we've learned before in the last section that for an inductor, the power is L times I times DI DT. Now there's also another expression for the power that involves the voltage, but we don't know the voltage here. Um, so it just doesn't make sense to go that direction. So we're going to work with L times I times DI dt. So let me go and start the equal sign over here. 